everybody it's me mr right here with a muay thai martial arts brutality guide i was asked by psychopath yt for a guide or you know some pointers on muay thai being that it's one of the uh in my opinion one of the harder classes uh to learn uh and get around uh being that it can be kind of predictable so we're gonna try to break up that predictability uh first off you always want to go with your points this is my current points that I've I've I haven't played the game in like three four months now, so this this is going off the assumption that nothing has really changed. So with that, uh, being that again the predictability of your Muay Thai attacks are going to go straight down the middle, so it's going to be real easy. So uh, and also the defenses are really really you know, uh, terrible. So you want to either max out or go at least four. And those, uh, hand speed, hand power. Uh, those are, okay. So you go four. uh, definitely go up on the speed, a little bit of power, speed, power, that we went for so we got three points to play around with um the pros of uh, muay thai is that your joints even if they get broken and pulverized you can still keep swinging but you can still lose regardless of you know you are still being able to hit so uh also pulverized joints take no f uh, further damage so if you get hit there uh it's no problem uh, so you could either, uh, up your, your card cooldown time or go, uh, more into your speed, uh, and, uh, either hand, hand or, or, uh, you know, foot. Either way, um, you really want to be able to connect because those are going to be your, your, your most powerful. I would probably go with feed, uh, foot speed, feed, <laughs> speed. And, uh, you know, it'll probably look something like that. You can always tinker around and, uh, cause with, uh, with Muay Thai, you'll gain a lot of points, uh, adrenaline points. So I have nothing. So we're going to create one. Where we at? There we go. Muay Thai. Let's go back. Look at the uh, pros and cons real fast. Fast elbows and knees, broken bones won't slow you down. Slow chi at the start of the fight. That is a bit, I wouldn't say it's misleading, but it's like the more you swing, the easier your uh, your adrenaline's going to go up and other stuff like that. So don't worry too much about that. All right, so if we'll look, you'll see even with the beginning cards that uh, this punch is rather, you know, lacking uh everything is lacking until you come across uh your elbows so if you look at the defense line you'll see it straight down the middle again straight down the middle and again straight down the middle elbow kind of straight down the middle to the eye straight down the middle uh where we got some knees i know we got some knees right here knees and it but kind of straight down the middle this is all still beginner type stuff so i would probably go with something like the demon knee um with every deck i would always go with two win conditions because you never know when you know one one particular condition is starting to become real predictable if you're going with um jugular that's predictable but it's very hard to get around upper spine one of those things that it can be predictable but Again, it's hard to uh, to hit. Um, one of my first earlier uh, win conditions was uh, going to the uh, abdominal organs. So being that this is a almost a, a complete U, I would go with the demon knees, getting those demon knees in there, putting a few in there. Um, I would definitely recommend putting in some uh, some attacks that are punches and kicks because not all of those are terrible 
They're a little bit slow, but it'll throw your opponent off. Uh, something that, you know, something like Cobra or uh, Tornado something or Screaming Hawk, uh, Heavenly Scorpion, something with Scorpion, Cobra, Hawk, uh, Scything, something with those names are generally the fastest uh, attacks that you'll get. But again, with Cobra Elbow, it's straight down the middle. Scything Elbow, straight down the middle. Um, active elbow again down the middle so you want to get it you let's say we're going to go with abdominal organs we're going to go uh, first to what I like to put in are the chi cards uh, being that again chi is easily built and adrenaline is easily you get plus two or three I want to say it's two point two uh, you get point two per attack, so two, four, six, eight, ten. So five attacks is your next adrenaline. Uh, so it's relatively easy. But even then, we if you have the cards, uh, we're going with that. Uh, this, this, and this. Okay. So we got four adrenaline cards. If you feel that that's too much, take one back. We'll take uh, the, the the six because we already got, you know, just a, a few of those. Uh, we want to be, I feel you want to be fast with this. So getting three speed and maybe a little power wouldn't hurt. Um, definitely not necessary being that those cards are, uh, going to be relatively hard. Now, I would highly put in, uh, if you have Chi Block or uh, Cleanse Dem Mock, put one of those in. Um, some Chi Boosters. Now, this is all how I build. my Most of my decks is about 50-50 or 60-40. You know, so heavy on the Chi. Uh definitely you definitely want to go with as much no counter as possible if you didn't want to do that you can chance the chi shake which shakes the entire screen so it's kind of blurring your opponent's vision um or you can do uh one of each and uh you know but you like i said you want you want your no counters in there so we're about we're almost meeting meeting our mark. Um, I'm not an iron shirt person. You can put it in. You can wear one iron shirt per uh, per turn until it disappears, uh, or and one chi strike shield, one of each. Completely up to you. I'm not. I don't use uh, the iron shirt. I just feel that's if you're gonna get hit, you're gonna get hit. So that's just what it is. It does save you from you know. Uh, whatever. Uh, another and key important card is the short block line. So you can skip uh, Chi Shake and uh, Block Fog and go with the uh, the lines. So we're about 55, uh, you know, 45 right now. And this is where now you get to pick your attacks, what you want to go for. Uh, particularly, you still like I'm a control player. I'm going to try to control my opponent's attacks. So I would definitely probably go with the uh, horrific uh, back kick here that targets the shoulder. Usually two or three strikes to that particular shoulder will completely dismantle that right or left arm, whichever one you target. Um, and it's usually kind of hard to block. But as you'll see, like even though you got tremendous power and tremendous speed, it's still straight down the middle. So again, straight down the middle, something that uh, you'll really have to, you know, go for. So I'm going to go for joints and uh, was it the abdominal organs? So you can never really go wrong with ankle shots. Those really control most any and every uh, discipline on the game. What do we got? We got uh, go for vicious. 
Ugh. What we got? What we got? Stomach. Uh, we'll go with. So with the abdominals, I would I would try to go with two of each, and at least one joint of almost each, um, to make it easier. We get to go to the filter and go to joints. Uh, we already got one ankle at least. Uh, this is the best in the elbow category. The intense scorpion again, scorpion type things. Uh, you don't have to worry about the pelvis joint. It's relatively, it's kind of like the shoulder joint. If you get it, that shuts down the leg, but it's a lot harder to get to. Uh, the the knee joint is the same thing. Don't really worry about that because you have to get past the kneecap first. If you get the kneecap, then you can easily get to the knee joint. Uh, being, if you want to go with the Muay Thai thing, sure, go with the knees. Those low kicks are devastating. Very, very effective. Um, let's see, elbow joint. This one is another one, but it's not as uh, potent in my opinion. Again, do what you want to do. Um, let's see. Pelvis joint, eh, we ain't going to do that. We can go with the chop to the wrist. Wrists uh, really shut down a lot of, uh, you know, fist based disciplines uh so we got what a shoulder and an ankle and a wrist um i guess it wouldn't hurt to put another ankle in there to shut down the other ankle really effective against muay thai uh, excuse me taekwondo guys all right so we got those and then we have the uh the abdominals so with this, uh, you really have only so much. Well, like I said, you want to go. All right, so we got one liver, uh, one stomach, kidney. We have enough for the growing, so uh, we will go with that. Where's that? There it is. The tortured front kick. I really uh, enjoy this one here because of that defensive line. Uh, so we got growing, growing. Uh, one kidney, one stomach, one liver, two, was it two kidneys, one kidney, somewhere up in there. Um, with untamed hawk palms, those are good, but they can be, again, very, uh, predictable. So, kidneys, we got kidney, stomach, groin, liver. Uh, we'll go with, so one of my other low grade punches is the rapid punch. Go straight to the groin, kind of hard to see early game. Uh, the, now we got, we got some pretty good stuff going on here. Uh, except for, you know, not too much, you know, that we can really, uh, do, uh, because, you know, it's like, again, I don't like being predictable with my attacks. Uh, so we're going to go for the head because some people do use the uh, the shield. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a lashing elbow or upper elbow. <laughs> lashing uppercut for a great one. And uh, to, to really disrupt my opponent because even me, nobody really sees the freaking uppercut coming. No, it's like out of all the attacks that can really get you with that doggone uppercut. So we're just uh, really just throwing whatever uh, at this point. Um, since nothing really, at least attack wise, is going to help. Uh, that isn't a punch or kick or whatever. So uh, we'll go with the other demon knee, sure. So we got our base. Now, this is where your, uh, your counter game really comes in here. And if you wanted to go ahead and delete all of that or even go to making your counter deck first, which I would recommend because you can see what cards you get to put in. Because as you can see, we already got uh, a few good attacks here with the uh, head. Uh, here's the liver. Uh, shoulder blade, lower spine, upper leg, lower leg. Uh, oh, 
paranoid heart elbow losing battery <laughs> so we gonna wrap this up uh i would definitely get this mando got a little, got a notification um go with the shoulder go with the elbow uh let's see throat nose skull if you wanted to build a head base type of thing that'd be totally cool multi uh you know multi uh destruction type thing like the the nose is easily destroyed the ankle is easily destroyed little stuff that you can just pick off your opponent that is awesome uh let's see but the groin the kidneys those can go so it's a lot less work on you in the end game uh if you wanted to slow your opponent down with the uh drop the speed that'll either make them skip a turn uh or you know it's easier for you to counter so i'm not going to go through the rest of this but getting the just of you know uh getting the counter game down that is really where you're you're going to win with muay thai because again being predictable with your attacks is one thing but countering and having significant power in these counters is really what's going to really push you forward. Uh, I would, you know, to wrap up, to get some early, uh, you know, these uh, these one adrenaline, uh, you know, counters, those are really set you up for the mid to late game. So then uh, you can start banging and crashing into the abdominal organs and whatnot. Comment, like, subscribe. Appreciate this uh, psycho path YT.